Numbers to dig into? Of course I'm going to take a look at this. So recently Battleline Network did a live stream on their community ranked tier listing for regiments. First, I would say go and check out that video. Link is in the description, and if you are not already, give a like and subscribe to BLN, as this video would not be possible without his work. And really, it's a fun video as well. I definitely recommend checking it out. A lot of good banter going back and forth. Good nature, too. Nothing, you know, not a lot of backbiting, anything like that. Just people having fun. So please go check out that video. As they talked about the rankings, a few things came up, and I thought it might be a fun exercise to run the numbers that Eagle gathered in a slightly different way to see if I came up with any other interesting results. This is not a rating on how good units are, or who is the best, or my opinion on them in any way, but merely reflects the respondents' perceptions in BLN survey. And really, it's just for fun, so please don't take this too seriously. If I were to identify any initial bias here, the respondents were likely subscribers to BLN to begin with. Eagle used a ranking system of S to F for each unit by each respondent and then tabulated and averaged the scores, producing a ranking for the 75 units. He provided guidance that if a respondent didn't know the unit to rank, it was to be listed as a C to minimize its impact. And again, so with BLN's respondent poll, that means you're going to have responders who are in those units who most likely go to events that he covers. So that impacts those potential ratings. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to apply two different scoring systems using the same database and then combine and see the difference in rankings. Three sectors were of general concern as highlighted during the back brief on the results by Eagle and his uh, team. The first was concern over unknown unit score being inflated with the C ranking for the guidance that was given. Other concerns included troll voting for S and F scores and inflated voting for S tier by people voting for their own units. To control for all these concerns, I eliminated all three of those rankings, the S, the C, and the F tiers, from the population, leaving only the A, B, and D available to interrogate. For the first uh, new way of tabulating the data that I used, I awarded an A ranking with three points, a B ranking with two points, and D with one point, then adding them all together for an overall score. I then average the scores based on total respondents for each unit to provide a uniform score across all the units, resulting in an overall ranking. Next, I used a method by subtracting the D rankings from the A rankings to arrive at an overall score, once more averaging for uniform results and once more ranking based on units. So basically taking a B ranking as immaterial or neutral and then taking those who thought it was a higher tier unit versus those who thought it was a lower tier unit arrive at a score. I averaged the two different methods, the three rankings of A, B, and D with the scores, and then this A and D subtraction method to determine a final ranking. Now breaking it down into four quadrants and showing the original scores for the units, the results are as follows, although some of the results are tied using this method, so I'll try to call that out when it happens. Starting with the fourth quadrant, those are ranked 78 to 61. We have tied for 78, 77 Jenkins Brigade and 32nd Ohio. Next, we have Kershaw's Brigade. At 75th, we have 79th New York. And 74th, we have Shenandoah Regulars. Next, we have 36th New York. Tied for 72nd, 71st, we have 83rd PVI and Davis Brigade. Next, tied for 70th and 69th, we have 14th Brooklyn from the FSB and the 23rd Ohio. Then we have the Texas Guards, the 4th West Virginia, the 33rd Kentucky, the Anderson's Brigade, tied at 64th, 63rd. We have Serpent's Brigade and Missouri State Guard. Next, we have 1st South Carolina Oars Rifles from the AB. And rounding out this list at 61st place, we have 19th Indiana. Moving on to the third quadrant, that's 60 to 41. We have tied for 60, 59. We have Mississippi Brigade and 1st Ohio, followed by another tie for 58, 57 with 14th Indiana from 5th Corps and 5th uh, NH. Then we have 19th Georgia from AB, CQB, the Twin Banners from Sussie, the 14th Tennessee, the 10th South Carolina, also from Sussie. Then at 51st, we have the 88th New York from the NYV. Followed by Eddie and his boys from the 2nd USC. 49th, we have 1st VA Care from the FSB. Followed by Jackson's Division. 7th Tennessee from AB. The MWB. 2nd Texas. Pickett's Brigade. 8th Connecticut from 5th Corps. Kelly's Irish Brigade. And at 41, we have the 10th US. 
Moving on to the second quadrant, that is 40 to 21 in the rankings, we have the second U.S. regulars at the number 40 spot. Then we have Ty for 39, 38, 65th Illinois from 5th Corps, and 8th Ohio from CB. At 37th, we have 3rd Kentucky, the TKO. Next, we have 3rd Alabama, then 2nd Wisconsin, 13th Georgia, 7th South Carolina, the 59th New York from Sussie. Then tied for 31 and 30th, we have 1st U.S. Sharpshooters and the Pennsylvania Army. Next, breaking the 30, we have the 1st Delaware for Sussy. I think uh, Bus will be happy that he's moved down this much. Then we have, in the 28th spot, the 27th Virginia from Stonewall Brigade, the 8th Florida next, then Lee's French Legion, the 33rd Stonewall's Brigade, then we have the 20th Georgia. We have, after that, the 1st Louisiana Zouave Battalion from AB, the 15th Wisconsin from Iron Brigade, and at 21, the Eagle Brigade. Now, finally, the top 20, uh, from 20 to number 1 in the first quadrant, we have, leading off the list, 5th VA from 2 Corps. Followed and tied for 19th and 18th, we have Hood's Division and 9th Corps. And at number 17, we have 12th VA. At number 16, we have 42nd PA. Tied at 15 and 14, we have the 2nd U.S. Sharpshooters and then the 14th LA from 2 Corps. Next, tied for 13 and 12, we have 6 LA from 2 Corps and Hampton's Legion. Next, we got 6 Wisconsin from Iron Brigade. Then tied in the top 10 for the spots number 10 and 9. A and V has gone all the way down there, but IVB has shot all the way up. So a uh, bit of a switch there of those two units to the 10 and 9 spot. At number 8, we have 11th Michigan. At number 7, we have 6 NYV. Tied for 6th and 5th, we have the 30th Ohio from CB and the 5th North Carolina from Sussy. At 4th place, we have 7th LA. At 3rd, 4th New Jersey. At 2nd, 1st Maryland from 5th Corps. And a bit of a surprise here, but maybe not. In 1st place, we have the 3rd U.S. Horse Artillery. So some pretty different results here. Again, this is all for fun and not really scientific at all, but just another way to look at the data with all its imperfections. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please, again, make sure you give Eagle a subscribe and a like to his video. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below, what you guys thought of my analysis, you know, just a little fun thing with the numbers. And I uh, hope to see you guys for the next videos. This is Kotal signing off.